All right, let's talk about arrangement number five in the I Solar Controller. Very common arrangement also. And basically what arrangement five is going to do, it's going to give you a second set of delta T functions. And where that would be helpful is, let's say you've got a solar tank, that tank gets up to 140 degrees, there's still sun, there's still energy available from your array. You either want to dump it to a second tank, maybe you've got a backup tank that you want to use for radiant heat or something like that, or you want to dump it. You've got to get rid of it because you don't want to overheat your glycol. So that's commonly where it's used as a dump zone or a second tank for a heating system zone. So let's go through some of the settings that are different than that. So we'll go in there, we'll select arrangement five, three, four, five, accept that, yes. And now you go through there, and what you're going to notice is a little different from arrangement one and arrangement three that we um, that we uh, go through. Is it's going to have the delta T is going to be indicated as DT one on and off. That's your solar delta T is always first, and then the next one is going to say delta T two on and off, and also have the step and the rise in it. So right there you can see there's delta T one on 12 degrees, just like we typically do with the solar delta T one off. That's your solar pump at eight degrees. There's your delta T one step. 20 degrees uh, higher temperature in the collector, and we start varying the speed. The rise is the same. Um, and now you go down, there's your storage tank. So once that load gets covered, that S max temperature gets handled, gets covered, the tank gets up to 140 in this case here, it's going to switch over. Now, most of the time, guys will use a three way zone valve for that, and then they'll wire this relay two output to that zone valve so that when the first load is covered, toggles over, the flow goes to the second load. And now you see if we keep scrolling through here, we get to that delta T on, delta T2 on, so that's your second load, delta T2 F for off, 8 degrees, and of course you can adjust these if you want to tighten that up for any reason. So that's really the only difference there, and there's your second storage tank. So if you're using a second storage tank, you can set the temperature in that. That might be a dump zone, that might be a... Uh, Again, a tank that you're storing some energy for radiant heat or something like that. So that's that's it. That's basically arrangement five. Commonly used for dump, commonly used for secondary heat to a uh, radiant floor or some kind of hydronic system. So the only thing that changes is your DT, you get two of them, two delta T functions. It's noted by DT1 and DT2. Very easy.